quick for single side. If you guys wonder how bloody did he actually got sent to loser Yes. That was one of the first big upsets of the tournament. But uh even with that loss in singles, Gudni is no slouch at all. One of the best players in Europe. One of the best Royals in general. Just an amazing player in general. So uh, yeah, let's see what the Red Team here can do. Really uh, curious to see what MK11 and Javi can bring to the table here. Just because they're so uh, consistent in teams. Known for their insane team combos. Liking to see the cop out from Javi as well. Still showing that New York character uh, may not be as amazing as Smash 4, but he still can get it done. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like, when you look at a toolkit like now that has all around, how worse can it get, right? I mean, well, we have players, but like, how, how bad could Kyle actually be? That's one of those things that you look at, right? He still has pretty, pretty good toolkit out in the West for the work. Especially in Doves. I'll still pretty decent in Doves. It's definitely how they're looking to put the market there. Well, I mean, look, it's a grab here, and he's normally just trying to capitalize off of Pyro. But he still covers the jump in with the up smash, and MK Leo's also going to drop that stock as well. Great stuff from Red Team already starting out really strong. Showing that even though they don't team all the time, they know team spacing and how to just follow off each other really well. But there's the back there coming out from Hobby. Taking Naro's first stop. Oh. Okay, good. He's going for edge guard here. Yeah, nice. He, he goes low, but as he goes low, Hobby immediately is going to decide. I want to stay up high. I don't want to get hit by Mario. Especially no, no limit in play. There's the back air. Finally, Hobby with a chance to bring works on Nairo. We're going to give him to Leo if he has to come back on the stage. Right, nice combo off of the cross slash there. Again, trying space right outside of his own partner's hitbox. So he can get the team follow ups going on. Now with the back air, I like the fact that he's just supposed to play there. If Javi was anywhere in the game, he was all three. He was on top of that. Oh man, there it is again. MK Leo's been super liberal with that up smash. It seems like it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, move in singles too, but especially in doubles, you see how big it is. If, uh, if Javi just gets like a hitbox right, to, uh, a hitbox to send them right above MK Leo, you can really connect with the up smash through the early stock. Here it is again, the follow ups. So good. Real fortune near the way in. Uh, Bloody Green is here. Yeah. Nice catch, man. I think it's harder than he actually started yeah. to finish it all because it was a nice block. That's the straight the Warrior on team. Like, he has such good hitboxes for following up on his uh, partner and being able to finish it with a move like the down B, the laugh. Really great stuff. Fear Factory also has to respect the laugh, right? Look at the timing, look at how Warrior can play. He tries to go long and he's finish on Esco and Leo for the money here. Game 1 would be super important for Nairo and Glennon. Oh, oh, yes! That's just the tech in place with the forest Smash. And uh, man, Glennon and Nairo, they're looking like the ones who've been teaming forever, honestly. Yeah. Really great I mean, follow ups. Look at that. Look at that hoodie with Nairo wearing for that PGR hoodie, man. He's wearing that hoodie for a reason. He knows what he's been. He's been around the block pretty well, especially in peace. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nairo and Zero, man. One of the most iconic teams in Smash 4. Uh, so many great tournaments as those two. And yeah. Nairo, I mean, he's an amazing team player on his own right. Yeah. As long as he's teaming with like, a strong player, he can make it work with pretty much anyone, I feel. Yeah. Let's go ahead, Team Mexico, of course, MKL and Javi, giving it a little bit of some thought. But you mentioned earlier, right? Teamwork makes a dream work. And just speak to your partner about what your paradigm can be better, what characters you might want to switch to, right? They can definitely go a long way, and we'll see what MKL and Javi has. I've seen the switch from uh, Cloud to uh, Lucina here. I'm not gonna lie though, I have a little bit of bias towards now. Me and Nara of, of the same blood. Anyway, yeah, I think with Hobby here, he wants to kind of get the same type of reward he get, would get with Cloud with like these nice sword hitboxes, but much better recovery so he doesn't get exploited off stage. And uh, even with the Cloud, we didn't really see him get like those finishing touch that uh, kind of uh, kills out of his team partner's combos that we would expect. So uh, I think Lucina pick is a pretty good idea overall. There's the smash from Lily from Wolf. He doesn't want, I feel like that's what it comes down to right now. They're starting to understand, hold on, let me actually the power player here. I don't want him around me, and I have to do what I can to make sure Gluttony's on the as much as possible. 
as they do that though, with off stage players. Oh. <laughs> it's because no one's staying on the stage. Yeah, Naro, man, he's a super aggressive off stage. You want to feel like you don't want to be put off stage with, like, without a jump or air dodging in a bass fight. He'll just go super aggressive. Especially with those down airs. Alright, the LP gonna take out Gluttony. Yeah, Oh, follow coming up with the killer, but like, we're gonna cover up off. Yeah, how have you been in the stock tank here? Really working out for the blue team. Honestly, we're just trying to see if he can get Leo to set up and then follow up with his hitbox in his own, but downer is out there. Take out Hobby's first stock. Nice coverage with the laser from the Kaleo. Just saying the two words and seeing his apartment in a troublesome spot. Putting out the hitbox is safe. Good. There's the follow up coming up. This is a back hit of Nair. Really nice to have a chance. Great job this flash. And uh, Wendy using the lap too. Definitely going to be a better, a better position for the blue team. Now you don't have to worry about that. Typically being an early kill. Good, good opportunity for him to let him understand that Nair is going to go for the Nair on this case. He actually went for that oh. perfect spot. For that wolf flash and the on that was return. an amazing edge guard for MK Leo, <laughs> and he hit Nairo out of all of his jumps and charged the down smash with the leg perfectly to get that stock. Good opportunity for both players to also say, okay, we want to win this 2v1, let's not both go at Gluttony because we know what the bomb is to do. Such a refresh live, great combo, King Kong and Cross is still in Yeah, great adjustment here for the blue team, looking so strong now. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. And the slide charge. He knows that once he had him in the bite animation, that was a free kill. And really good adjustment there coming out with the four stock after losing the first game. Yeah, good change coming off from MK Leo. Also, understanding like, hey, let's go ahead. Like I mentioned earlier, right? change the paradigm, change the characters, blah, 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 blah. When it comes down to brass tacks, who do I want to focus on? It's Gluttony. And it starts like for Nairo to start looking at, okay, hold up. Now, in game three, Nairo's going to have to start realizing, all right, hold on. They're focusing on the power player Gluttony. So my job here is to look to keep away players like MK Leo away from Gluttony to allow him to do his job. Team composition and teamwork in doubles is something that's to keep in mind, right? Because the composition of how the characters work in terms of throw combos, damages, things like that, they play a significant big factor. And if you're not able to get your composition to work properly, a la Overwatch, it's not going to work out to capture the game. Yeah, and I really do like the Wolf here in doubles anyways, because he has so many long-lasting hitboxes that are easy to combo off of. All it takes is for you to be in between the Wolf and uh, Lucina, and you find yourself just racked up so much for staying at the beginning of the night. We got the Town City kick here. And I believe this is still best to I three since it's moved quarters, so yeah. actually really important game right here. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering here, the SoCal recommend or California recommended rules that actually lose all quarters matches and the lower best of three. Anything semis is up to the best of five, even without out. Almost getting that tech chase F smash there with the Lucina. Nice, man. You just followed his drift to the ledge so well. Had the down smash in perfect position. Oh, coming up from the ledge. Just looking for that throw. It's going to work. Hits the back here on Myro. Looking to keep him away. And then he's going to keep him away. Yes. I'm gluttony for a great second. So good from MK Leo. You saw Nairo trying to creep up in there and cover uh, Javi while he was you know, doing the 2v1. But he just smacked him out of the way with the force smash. He's like, Nairo, who the hell? Let's work on Gluttony. Yeah, that's what I really like about watching them play teams is they'll do a 2v1 and then they'll see the, the partner try to, you know, interrupt the 2v1 but then they'll like, immediately knock the partner away and <laughs> yeah. go right back to the 2v1. That's just things that they've been doing uh, really consistently even back in the last game. But oh. that down air timing from Javi. Oh, great. Air dodge coming out and running. Just sensing the ping pong. Oh, it pays the price from that one. Able to come in. Nairo working on MK Leo. Oh, is that neutral air is so good for Wolf to get these combos going, man. Oh, man. There's a frame one hit off on him, of course. Oh, it's into the loft. Working in Leo. All right, last stock. Here's Leo. 
red team not going out without a five for yet. Look at the percent for Amaro approaching on the team. He's lightning even higher. If he can just take out Bloody and force him to eliminate Amaro, he's got nowhere else to learn but Bloody himself. Yeah. yeah, the stocks are definitely even, but like you said, the percentages are very dangerous for the red team. Honestly, I think that... Oh, wow. That'll be really good. But it was on his partner, Yag. Big, big. big. That's the boot. Looking at Burn for himself, we saw the last situation play out. He does have things turned around though, he does have Ancelio and Harvey living on the ropes. He can actually. Oh, you better not try to let that happen yeah, at I'm all, sorry, man. He's like, you're in between us, you already know. You're going up in there trying to get the downer out of the bike. That's the worst part, too, because he looked like he tried to run away and he pulled out the, the bike and he was like, hold on, let me, no. let me just do it. <laughs> Okay. Yo, man, I'm out here looking like the biggest liar of them all. Usually, uh, Timmy just justified, but uh, yeah. I guess for the bigger tournament with so many entrants. Shout outs to anybody in Coachella actually watching for himself. I know it's the same weekend as well. What? You really think there would be someone at Coachella watching? I would, bro. Time? I went to a Logic concert and I was watching the stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Judge me if you will, but I love some Smash, alright? Sometimes, sometimes the artist is not something you want to listen to. Sometimes you want to listen to Strides and Fans. Anyway, let's listen to the Gluttony and Naira and MKLA on Hobby. And okay. bring it up in game four. Okay, so it is a best of five set, meaning that Gluttony and Naira have a more time to adjust and make this one happen, bring it to a game five. Honestly, they're going back and forth in now. Going relatively even, but once they get in a position where there's like a 2v1, uh, they're not able to get as many combos as Leo and Javi are. Um, I'll see if they can adjust here. Can Leo try to back up Javi with the shield pressure on the forest match? Naro off stage. No, he completely ignores Naro because he says, you know what, let me get this quick 2v1 combo. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's good because he knew Naro was going to have to take the time to come back on stage, right? And that was more important, trying to get rid of blood because they knew the power, if they creep up on the power player, they're forcing Naro to start making an approach. Oh, nice. I'll smash out the forward throw again. Okay, Leo and Javi, man, they just... They keep trying to set that situation where the member of the red team is in between both of them, no matter what. Oh, oh, the stock trade. Definitely worth it. Yeah, pretty much even blue and red team at even percent. So not, oh. the, not the percent for each player as Hobby loses the life there. Gluttony at 136. So now we're Hobby, man. I've been looking at Gluttony with intent. Oh, yeah. Gluttony's definitely going in, work, uh, going in right now, putting in work with the up bears. Dragon up full percent. Oh, the bike team combo. Really great stuff. And Nairo with that down there? Oh, oh the bike smack okay. too? Hold on. Wow, okay. What a, what a turnaround there for the red team. Okay, I was going to try to shield for the second mouse. Oh, but there's the charge down smash, the classic wolf kill. But <laughs> Gundy says, get off of me, man. Let's the down B rip, gets rid of MK Leo's last stock, and now let's see what these guys can do in the 2v1. I think that's what Lenny was looking for, right? That one opportunity to break through from the clutches of MK Leo and Javi, and start looking at Javi and come back. This is all what Red Team needed. This is definitely oh, yeah, yeah. Javi's just going to give that yeah. one up. Fresh stock, Lenny it, with uh, two stocks. It's so cool. I mean, I wouldn't I, I respect the game right? You don't want to wear yourself out of the fight. Right? If you can go the distance, don't wear yourself under the fire. Look at the next one and say, okay, hold on. Let's come back as a team. I don't want to get this 2v1. No. Yeah, you also could be, the more you play against them, you could be giving up uh, more information to your opponent, exactly. too. Exactly. You even see that in games like Overwatch, right? Where this is a situation where you don't want to give your opponent more information. More ultimate. If you're, if you're looking at that, right? And that's something you want to keep to yourself. Let's just come back as a team. The team fight is yeah. much better than the solo fight. Yeah. Especially with last talk, there's no reason to have that. Right, well, of course, Team X is going to end the talks for the next game and the next stage alongside Nairo and Bunny. Let me go ahead and correct myself. I mentioned me and Nairo are the same blood. Nairo is actually Dominican and I'm half Dominican. Oh, okay. So we're, we're the same ethnic background. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations to my Dominican brethren, Omar. I know you might be out there with Chad, Dominican Snake. We might have seen them previously in the Wi Fi tournaments we hosted two. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I do recognize he's a type. 
Yeah, shout out to all of them for supporting uh, that online too. Shout out to the Minicron Real time. Shout out to I, I, I let them down because they don't play baseball. They love Smash. <laughs> and they love Smash too. So let's come into it, bro. <laughs> okay. You got him. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, really solid adjustments coming back from both teams. Um, we we kind of switched back and forth between like dominating displays from both. So now we're in a game five. They both kind of learned a lot about each other. Let's see who can wrap this up and take this one. Uh, he really, he's got a little tennis. Standing so like, he's going to switch down. He's going to see where the limo is going to land as Javi makes the first move. Uh, 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 the grab and Javi looking to capitalize after the board throw. And I was in play, but Javi's always looking to get that percent and follow up off the range of the I feel like that's what Granny and Nairo need to start looking at, no matter what, stop it for. It's not a thing. It's not a move. It's super hard. And that F smash from Kaleo though. Now they control the side of the stage. Try to get a slight charge with a down smash. Naro and Gluttony at the one side of the stage. Tries to escape, but if Kaleo calls out the jump, Naro's first stock is out of there. Gluttony in a wrap fast spot too. Now we're gonna release some pressure a little bit. Not enough knockback, or sorry, little, little knockback to follow up on that back throw combo, but. But this is overtake for Blaine to come in on NKA and stop Team 5. Alright, well, pretty much blue team with three stocks, red team with two, and four. Two each. Four in total. Narrow working on NKA. NKA has to use the wolf flash. You can't auto stop the players like that, and Narrow out there. Yeah, I love how the deep Naro can go off stage, especially just to hunt that double jump. Once he knows you're expending that, he always positions himself right where your up is going to end. And then he just intercepts you really, really well. But that up smash, Naro trying to put the team on his back a little bit, just bring him closer to this comeback situation. We've seen it before, they definitely have all the tools to make the comeback happen, but that jump gets called out by MK Leo immediately signs him with the wolf back there. And uh, being able to take Naro's stock out before you can get started on the, you know, his momentum is so important for the blue team. So you already know, like, Nairo, when he gets started, he can just turn the match around like a little quicker than I. Yeah. And that's what Nairo's looking to do, right? He's still, he down one to one spot, but he's got the pressure of the fans. He's kind of keeping a little bit behind, right? He's looking to just inch his way in towards Nairo and then Kaleo look looking to keep him looking away. Alright, looks like the joint here making the team switch. Oh, oh you punished the bike throw with the dash attack. What do you kind of a poor play there? Yeah. for narrow, edge guard opportunity for narrow. A lot of stuff wasn't Back throw. Mike wants the stage control for the red team, and that's what he's fighting for. Yeah, definitely to get the stack off of Leo. Yeah. Just, well, that would have been an opportunity to get for a 2v1 in the town. Yeah. Now trying to make something happen though, going really deep off the stage. Not going to get the snipe he's looking for. Alright, Which arrow he Facing really well up the legs, not even letting him get close. But the back throw finally getting that stock out of here. Javi though, still holding on to his. Maintaining that advantage for the blue team as best as he can. Gluttony, uh, I think Gluttony just wants to get this stock out of here without relying on the lap, but now that he's in a 2v1 situation. The lap looking pretty nice if he's able, actually able to get rid of Javi. Uh, let's see what he's doing with the pressure from him. He lays back there as he's able to move him through. This is a rough 2v1. This is how fresh Leo's stock is. Yeah. Even if he does... Yeah, okay, oh, okay, 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 force the stress it's, it's pretty good because you know what, if he gets hot, he's going to have MK MKLeo on the 1v1. Even though he's got like the high percent, right, momentum is something you can have when you get stock. Yeah. Back throw. Javi with the rough but he missed the mark. There should be going for that. I'm going to so try to make it happen. Not going to commit to the throw really smart. He knows that he yeah. goes in the lag. He would gave Javi a free punish. Yeah, I feel like he let MKLeo on that match up for a very Really gonna come back to make right here. He's trying to just get close enough to Javi to make it happen. But look at throwing out these up smashes. Oh, he even throws the bike away too. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. The minute he went for the up air and he got over Javi, and Javi just went for the up tilt. Yeah. It was just a handshake after that one. 
Yeah, well fought set from uh, team of Nairo and Gluttony, but Leo and Javi, that experience of teaming for so long, just lets them edge it out just slightly in that set. Yeah. So, they have Igmir Leo and Javi will stay sitting down, and I think they're immediately getting the next match with the team double team, team team.